Hello, my name is Chris and thank you for joining me on the short walk around Hesel Dales. This nature reserve is also a site of special scientific interest and covers an area of about 72 acres. It is mainly wet and dry heathland with gorse, heather, birch and oak scrub. The land also supports a wide variety of insects, reptiles, mammals and birds. We start the walk at the Piper's Lane entrance shown on the map. Throughout the walk this map will be updated to show our position. The red dot marks our spot. Entering the Dales we pass the 60 steps on our left and walk till we meet a junction where we turn left. A short way along we'll take a left turn off this path to go and see the sandstone cliffs. These Triassic sandstone outcrops would have been exposed in the last ice age some 12,000 years ago. The cliff height is about 30 foot and whilst some local quarrying may have taken place the area is shown on old maps as a cliff and not a quarry. Retracing our steps we head back to the main path and turn left. I have taken the liberty of giving names to some of the features on this walk and here we find ourselves at Four Ways Dell. Straight ahead is Beehive Field, part of the Dale Farm Complex that we pass later on in the walk. We now go uphill to the left and if you look over to the right you can see the beehives. We'll continue along this high level path through some gorse until we reach a granite bench. Here we have extensive panoramic views of the Dee estuary with the coastline of Wales before us. You can also see Mulvama in the distance. The width of the River Dee at this point is about 4 miles. Taking the path behind us, we walk to a junction where we turn right and carry on up the path towards the entrance to Dale Farm. Here adults with disabilities or mental health needs can learn life skills through horticulture. We now turn right and follow the track down the side of the farm to reach the Dale's Ranger's office, but before we get there we'll take a small detour to the left to show you a field of purple heather. Returning to the track we reach the ranger's office and take the path opposite to pass by the Hesseldales notice board. We will now take a short detour to see the tortoise. This rock formation is referred to as the turtle's head on the Hesseldales Friends website, but I and my friends think the location suggests a tortoise rather than a turtle.
Back on track, we head to the signpost for Oldfield Road. At the signpost, we turn right, and then just before the next signpost, we take the path off to the left, where we find a stone post. We follow the narrow track downhill to meet a wider track and immediately opposite is the beginning of another uphill track. If we were to follow this route at the top we would need to scramble a short way up a sandstone outcrop to reach the top level path. But on this walk we are going to turn left to follow the path up a steep sided wooded valley which I call Dead End Valley. Where a low level branch crosses the path, the valley appears to peter out, but we can climb the side on the right to take us up to a higher path. Keeping to the right on this route, we come across further views of the River Dee. This bench was presented by the Heswell Society. Immediately opposite, down the slope, is the sandstone scramble that I mentioned earlier. Continuing along the path, we head down the valley side to cross a small stream. I wonder whether this is the Scarbrook. It was said to rise in the triangular plot of land between Thurston Road and Telegraph Road, and then descend down the hill to meet Delaveau Road further down. Delavo Road was once called Scarbrook Road. It is said that in early years, smugglers followed the Scarbrook up its course to store their contraband in a man-made cave in the house by the same name. Crossing the stream, we turn right and head down the valley with the stream on our right before recrossing. Shortly afterwards, the stream goes from view as we continue to follow the path downhill. At our last junction, we take the second path on the left, the first being a bridleway. This takes us to the end of our walk in Bushway. I hope the ramble has been of interest and perhaps you will join me again for another walk in the future. But now I think it's time for a cup of tea and a nice slice of cake. Goodbye.